Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I wanted to chat about my September beauty favorites. I do have quite a bit of product, but before we get started, I would love to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to also add me on all of your social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. So yeah, let's get started with this video. So my first favorite is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is perfect for all skin types and this is rich in amino acids. This gently cleanses the face and eyes. This is a Sephora's I think number one bestseller as far as facial cleansers are concerned. And I love to use this in the morning time. I feel like this does a great job at cleansing the skin. It helps to remove any sweat from any overnight sweating. I don't know if you're like a, a warm person, uh, but apparently I tend to sweat a lot during my sleep or I run hot when I sleep. And so this helps to gently remove any of the products that have, you know, been left over on the skin from my nighttime skincare routine without overly stripping the skin of any essential oils. This is a gel-based cleanser, so it does not foam up. I don't really like like using this with my Clarisonic as I feel like it doesn't really give me what I'm looking for when I use my Clarisonic. Uh, but this is a great morning time cleanser. It says here that it's perfect for all skin types. However, I probably wouldn't recommend this to an oily skin type. And when I say oily, I am talking about the skin type who after cleansing the skin in an hour already has, you know, some oil on their skin. I'm not talking about that person who at four o'clock, you know, has an oily T-zone. I think this would work great for you, but not for that oily skin type who is oily after an hour or two. And my second favorite cleanser for the month is the Ole Enriksen Wonderfeel Double Cleanser. She looks like this. This is a beautiful color. I would say this is great for normal to sensitive skins. Again, this is something I wouldn't recommend for that oily skin type unless you're that oily skin type who loves to just sweep away the day's dirt without feeling extra clean like so clean that your skin feels tight if you like that feeling this cleanser is not for you the consistency of this cleanser is a creamy cold cream consistency the directions of this is to dampen the skin then you want to work this into the skin in circular motions and it really does help to dissolve the day's makeup so after you've worked that cleanser onto the skin you take a damp warm washcloth and then you remove everything off the skin and this is so effective and this is so gentle that your skin will have a glow immediately after cleansing i would definitely use this at night the first few times i did use this i went in with another cleanser to kind of see whether it, it really did remove everything and I feel like it did. Another tip I would share is to go in with your toner on a cotton round if you're wearing, you know, heavy makeup that day, just to, you know, make sure that you're 1000% clean. This is very effective, however, I will definitely be using this during fall and winter to effectively remove the day's Face, especially since during winter either you are in environments that are heated say for example your car or the office and the air is super dry so I feel like this will definitely nurture the skin when you're cleansing it I have two other skincare favorites this is the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. And the directions here um, tell you to apply it in the morning and evening before heavier creams. 
I especially like to use this when I'm nearing my cycle or on my cycle as it does help to minimize the appearance of blemishes. So one of the benefits of using niacinamide is that it helps to even out the tone of your skin. So if you have leftover pigmentation from previous breakouts, this is going to help brighten and even out your tone. Niacinamide also helps to reduce the appearance of blemishes and it also helps to control oil production. One of the cool things about this product is that it is alcohol-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. And niacinamide is the second ingredient on the ingredients deck. So you know that you're getting a high percentage of that ingredient in this formulation. I have found that using this alone on my skin, however, can be a little drying. I do have normal skin and I am prone to hormonal breakouts. So that is where this little guy comes in. This is from Jordan Samuel Skin and this is the Hydrate Facial Serum. This has aloe leaf, that is its first ingredient, which gives it its cloudy kind of look or appearance in the bottle. That is what helps to balance my skin when I go in with this. And usually how I use this, if I am experiencing a tough breakout or if I feel more oil on the skin than usual, I will use this twice a day and I will stop using my vitamin C product. I will mix three drops of the um, niacinamide and zinc solution to three drops of the Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Facial Serum. And I feel like that helps to control oil production without overly drying my skin. Um, because I have found that if I do just use this, my skin tends to feel tight. But I don't like that tight feeling throughout the entire day. So this cocktail works incredibly well on my skin when I am experiencing those hormonal breakouts. Sometimes when I use, say for example, a retinoid at night, this is a, a great product to follow any retinoid use as this will hydrate and plump the skin, giving it a healthy luminosity without making the skin feel oily throughout the day. It just really makes the skin feel comfortable. And the Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Facial Serum retails for $29 on the Jordan Samuel Skin website. And now I have two sheet masks that I really enjoyed uh, during the month of September. The first is the FG Beauty Stewardess Mask Pack Business Class. This is what she looks like. This mask has anti-aging properties. It claims to brighten, soften, and relieve redness, and it also can treat eczema. And it also has antioxidants. This particular sheet mask is an all-in-one. So essentially what it does is it tones, treats, and it also moisturizes the skin. So if you're pinched for time, or if you're feeling particularly lazy, which, you know, or tired from a long day of work, this could be your go-to sheet mask as it will do everything for you and it will also relax you. I mean, sometimes I look forward to just coming home, washing my face, scrolling through Instagram while my skin is being cooled off and treated with a sheet mask. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone who has sensitive skin, is looking for intense hydration, and is also looking to add antioxidants into their skincare, and also someone who is concerned with aging. And then I have another favorite. This is the Shine K Moisturize to Shine. This is a three-step mask, and I got both of these sheet masks from Face Story, but this one came in the September box, 
and yesterday I had a migraine but I still wanted to treat my skin so I decided to pick this up. Uh, Multi-step sheet masks haven't been my favorite but this one was amazing yesterday. I mean it kind of took the guesswork out of figuring out what I was going to put on my face for the evening. So what I did was I cleansed and then I toned as, a, as your step one. This has a moisturizing essence which had enough in there for my face, neck, and chest. And then the sheet mask came here right here in this bottom portion. The sheet mask was drenched in essence. The essence had a slight bit of a fragrance but it wasn't too strong. Um, I think I just forgot about the scent after I applied the sheet mask onto the skin. As a step three, a moisture purifying cream. The cream was quite thick. Probably one of the thickest creams I have applied on my skin. Even thicker than the Fresh Overnight Black Tea Firming Mask, which I love and it is one of my favorites. Um, so this was definitely thicker than that. I did feel like my skin looked very luminous and very oily, but it didn't feel like I had an oil on my face. Definitely felt like I had a moisturizer and there was plenty of moisturizer to go around on the face, the neck, and chest. She retails for $4 on the Face Story site. But I really liked the results. My skin felt hydrated when I woke up this morning. I did feel like the moisturizer was still on the skin, but it wasn't uncomfortable overnight. I would recommend this sheet mask to someone who has sensitive skin or dry skin, or anyone who has normal skin who is looking to refresh the skin. So the sheet mask retails for $3.50 on the Face Story site. Alrighty, and now for beauty favorites, I don't have many actually, I just have lip products for beauty favorites. I have the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collab. This is in More Creamer Please. It is the shade that I am wearing right now, and I feel like this is my perfect nude. I have been wearing it non-stop. It is so beautiful. This is what it looks like. I feel like I'll probably have to restock. But as far as nudes, I have pretty much like an olive neutral skin tone, so it's kind of hard to figure out or find a shade that is perfect for me without having to mix 25 other things together. So I really like wearing this. This has been an everyday shade for me. And then I have the I Love Sarai and ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Arriba. And this is what she looks like. I have really been digging a red lip. I have a ton of other lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, but I have recently just been gravitating towards the reds. So when this became available, I had to pick it up because it's amazing and it is so pretty. I feel like ColourPop has definitely improved the formula on their ultra matte lips. Um, I can definitely get away with wearing this all day without feeling like my lips are extremely dry or chapped. And then I have a brush. This is the Morphe M439. I have been using this with my YSL All Hours Foundation and I've only worn that foundation about three to four times. I'm wearing it today. I have been going back to using a brush for foundation application. I don't don't know why I just stopped reaching for brushes for foundation application. I think I just feel like the Beauty Blender facilitates that process, but it also shears out your foundation. So yes, you do get a more natural look, but if you're looking to say, for example, cover blemishes, the Beauty Blender will not help you achieve that unless you go in with another product. So that's where this brush comes along. This has been a favorite of mine since Jaclyn Hill probably mentioned it on her channel. Just love what it does for that foundation. Um, I also used it earlier today when I went to work with the Maybelline Fit Me, which is my favorite foundation from the drugstore and 
I loved the results and I have been reaching for this brush for the month just seeing how each of my different foundations does with this brush and I have really been digging the results especially since quite recently I've had so many breakouts right here in this hormonal region this has definitely helped to conceal some of those blemishes without having to apply layer and layer or multiple products on the affected area. What I love about this brush is that it's very dense and it's very rounded. The bristles are super duper soft so it never feels like you're scratching the skin. It just feels like you're just tapping your skin. So yeah, this is definitely a favorite. Alrighty, and that is all I have for you guys for this September beauty favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at all of the products that I have been enjoying this month. I can't believe that it's fall. And I also haven't had a pumpkin spice latte just because I'm not having any sugary or any processed foods. So I definitely miss all the bad stuff. I haven't had any fries or pizza sucks um, but I'm excited for fall even though I'm definitely gonna miss summer it's one of my favorite seasons I hope you guys enjoyed the video please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye and someone who is also this helps to blow